Rivalry Week in MLS brings us to Dallas with bragging rights on the line in the Lone Star State. It's the only regular season meeting of the year between FC Dallas and the Houston Dynamo on a day where green is normally the dominant color. Lots of red and orange at Dallas Stadium. Dynamo today will come out in a 4-4-2, but they want David Ferreira to defend from FC Dallas. Boniek Garcia will tuck inside and look for Sarkodie to overlap and cause some mismatches. With his center midfield, last week against Chivas, only one foul. Michel and Jacobson have to set the tone early on today. And it's also that way in terms of the fortune of these two teams in recent years. They have been mirror images of each other. Dallas's banner year in 2010 coincided with the Dynamo missing the playoffs for the only time under Dominic Kinnear. Houston also won on their last visit here, which is back in September of 2011, a 1-0 win. The flag has stayed down here, and Giles Barnes is on his way. Bruin is available, but Barnes win for the jackpot, and Bruin is furious, as, as he should be. I mean, the moment Giles Barnes is in, He's in, just pick up your head. Wu Bruin has every right to be upset here. Great run, great look from Boniac Garcia. Right now. Right now. That can't happen. Will Bruin, Brad Davis, Adam Moffat, everyone was fierce with Giles Barnes as they should be. Brad Davis exert his influence. Looks like Corey Ash and great work by Moffat releases Davis. Davis time to uh, pick his spot. Will Bruin! Well, there's a real uh, flare-up there between Benitez and Bruin. Bruin had the opportunity after Benitez slips. All getting a bit hot under the collar here in Big D. Good runs out of the midfield. Giles Barnes get caught, gets caught deep in the midfield, so Moffitt comes out. And then you got this guy, Brad Davidson, has that understanding to get wide. I'd like to see Will Brown get in front of Benitez near post. Still scratching their heads, wondering how they didn't win that one as Michelle kills this in. The flick on Hedda is in! And Dallas have the lead, and it's their big defender, George John, with an exquisitely placed header. This free kick, when it's in swinging, you just want to give an opportunity for your players to get on the end of it. Extremely unlucky for Bobby Boswell to head that off the back of George John, but give Michel a ton of credit. That is a dangerous ball. You see Tally Hall can't come off his line. Well done for George John to finish the run out. Did I call that an exquisitely placed header, Taylor? Hey, <laughs> goes a goal, Adrian. Maybe I was doing him a favor. And as you say, they all count. And delight for Dallas. Set pieces, proven to be fruitful. Now Kenny Cooper, check back. Cooper still stings the hands of Tally Hall, but no more. It could have been so much more. Herrera's corner near post. Oh, and it's two. Andrew Jacobson this time, stabbing home from close range. Double the delight for Dallas, but horrible for Houston. Well, look right here. You see Jacobson and Ricardo Clark fighting along, but look at George John fight off Bobby Boswell, and Ricardo Clark just gets a little bit Lack of days ago, that last second. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of tussling and chewing. Now the breakaway for Jackson. Could it be free for Dallas? Jackson! Off the post, but offside, not going to count. He finished quite brilliantly, didn't he? But the flag was up. The Dallas crowd expressing their displeasure at the decision. An interesting one to have a look at again, Jackson. He launched his run from really deep, didn't he? 
This game changed when they pushed, Shellis Hyman pushed Jackson up high on Sir Cody. When you look at this, right when that ball is played, wow, that is close. A marginal decision to say the least. He finished brilliantly, Taylor. Better possession now for the Dynamo. Clark over the top. Sir Cody trying to burst into a gap, which very quickly closed. Sir Cody, though, with persistence paying off. It falls for Driver! And it's in! Andrew Driver has cut into the deficit. His debut goal in MLS and just the tonic for the Dynamo. Houston's provided a spark for their fans to work with. And Raul Fernandez appears to be hurt in goal for Dallas. And this is all Kofi Sarkodie. Michel has to do a better job here. And again, it's the miscommunication. Chip Fernandez come out, he does it. But Sarkodie stays with the play. What a finish. This is all Sarkodie here. Doesn't give up on the play, picks his head up. Give Driver a ton of credit here. Doesn't hit it first time, takes his time, and buries it. We got a ball game. Well, late game uncertainty at the back again. Perhaps coming to haunt Dallas here. As Driver goes Weaver to win the header. Ching. Nice return pass as Weaver on the move. Driver arriving and they get there. Fernandez spills it and Brad Davis has hauled Houston level. What a comeback by the Dynamo. Dallas's late game weakness comes back to bite them again. Well, how different of a look it is for the Houston Dynamo now, when now you bring on Cam Weaver next to Brian Ching. Now you have two big, strong center backs, and that starts to build up. This ball comes forward. Perfect layoff from Weaver, but he doesn't give up on the play. Now he gets in behind. This is where a confident keeper, you have to have that ball. If you come off your line like Fernandez does, you have to have this. Brad Davis does a good job of making sure he follows it up. That's on Raul Fernandez. That driver nipped in in front of the Peruvian keeper. It spun the way of Davis. One from Jacobson again. Taylor away. One from Michelle and Cooper. Just finds a way to look and find those seams. And look at Bobby Boswell gets pulled out because he's following David Ferreira. And now Jermaine Taylor is one-on-one -on -one with Kenny Cooper. Well, did that come off his hands, Taylor? Wow. Did that come off his hands? He missed the header, didn't he? 100% came off that arm. That ball hits him right in the bicep. That's a handball. But well done from Kenny Cooper to see this play through. That's a handball. No doubt about it. Performance, particularly playing out wide in the first half in a game-winning goal. For just the third time in team history, Dallas beats Houston at home. It's just their fourth win against them in 20 regular season games as Shellis Hyman tries to forge a new identity for FC Dallas. This perhaps a big staging post along the way, beating their local rivals from down the road. It's FC Dallas 3, the Houston Dynamo 2.